it's dawn. Oh, the tower. We're just out and about. And this is gonna be part two of our day here at Universal Orlando. Yep. Um, it's Friday. One of the last days of our trips, sad, of our trip, sadly. Um, Kathy and Todd's been with us for part of the day, and I keep focusing and unfocusing because the Christmas, the tree here, right back there, keeps changing colors. But we're sitting here on a bench across from Jimmy Fallon's. Kathy and Todd have, I think they've left the park. We just finished watching the um, Christmas parade again. We're just sitting and, here waiting uh, for everybody to leave. Yeah. Not much. So that's why I said this will be part two of our day because I'll put this separate. Um, because we're doing the Orlando Informer meetup tonight. Yep. Now, this is probably mine and Tyler's, I don't know, I know it's like my sixth meetup that I've done. Probably You're fifth. probably fifth. Yeah. Um, we've got tickets to do. We had, uh, we purchased the Orlando Informer for tonight and tomorrow night. Um, Kathy and Todd had just had Saturday night. I checked in earlier right outside at the Globe. Um, we were Team Globe. I know we want to stop at Louie's. We want to go in Monsters Cafe. Yep. Um, Bumblebee Man truck. Um, you know, last year's Orlando Informer meetup in, um, in uh, December actually turned us on to Bumblebee Man tacos yeah. because we had never we just kind of not ventured over to try them and they're really good so they sold us on those um but what i was going to say was this year instead of getting the voucher for the quick service meal he, um orlando informer actually gave us 15 dollars gift cards that can be used toward food and they don't expire so like now we've got 15 dollars and 15 dollars that if we want to use it on saturday for our lunch then we will have it toward our lunch and then tomorrow night we'll get another two fifteen dollars that we can save till our next trip yeah. i have to say even before we do the meetup tonight we do highly recommend it like i said i we wouldn't love this, meetup. this is this is my sixth one i wouldn't have done it six times yeah, if i didn't, didn't like enjoy it. it um i have i actually had somebody ask me the other day was it worth it since you know if you had annual passes anyway it's, um, it's, it's worth it. I still say it's worth it because yeah. we have annual passes, but we plan our trip around this in December every year. Um, it's totally worth it. We will head on to have a good time as soon as this crowd clears out, and um, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Y'all, we just had the wildest ride on the mummy I've that never, I think I've never felt the mummy we've like ever that. had. I've never felt the mummy like that. Never. We had the train by ourselves. Yeah. We've right. never, so they just closed down everything for the informer. They had cleared the park. We were one of the first few that went in to ride the mummy, right? Yeah. And um, so we ended up in the train by ourselves. Front, front so, row. He asked to ride in the front row, so they told us, you know, we had to ride on each on the end because we were, I guess, because we were the only one. Oh my gosh, I've never had the ejector error that I had on that sucker coming across the hill. That's there. crazy. Crazy. Then we asked, could we re ride? They didn't even make us look. We're getting swept away again, just like we were earlier. They trying to clean through, up confetti. They let us through the shot, the child swap. Yeah. So they didn't even make us walk back around to ride again because there's, of course, no line. So I think while we're waiting to get some food, we're going to ride Gringotts because yeah. we hadn't done Gringotts at all this week. And we were just standing there watching them change the sign at the palace and add the Orlando Informer letters. This is what it looks like so far, but I think there's still some guest in here that hasn't totally cleared the park yet. Just a little example of what it looks like once you get back here almost to Diagon Alley. It's getting pretty empty. And it's still, still, and I of, mean, still a lot of on wristbanders. Well, there, back here there, should only be the wristbands unless they're. Well, they might be exiting if they were in um, on Gringotts when they closed and had to come out. But um, 
you know, they're, they're still sweeping the park because they're not letting anybody back here yeah. without wristbands that, yeah. you know, hadn't al wasn't already back here. But again, another reason it's totally worth it. Okay, all right. Usually we're not able to do this, are we? Uh, no. Because the line's always so long. Welcome to all of Anders. The maker of all fine ones since 382 BC. Just our look. We're the first ones into Ollivanders. And only two other people oh, in there. Two other people in there. And, and we, we didn't, didn't get, get chosen. And we were there first. No! But that's okay. It was still a good experience. I mean, that's not something that we usually... We've only done it one other time. Yeah, we didn't like, get picked in either. Well, yeah, but we had a room full of people yeah. then. At least that time there was a room full of people. This time it was just four of us. Yeah. But, um... I might go get some butterbeer. Oh, you're gonna try? Okay. All right. Yeah, here at the um, Orlando Informer Meetup, you can go get all the butterbeer you want. Did you have a good time? It's just getting started. <laughs> just getting started. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Where y'all from? North Carolina. North Carolina. It's hard to hear you with this big enough. I know. Tyler Dole all the way from North Carolina. Welcome. Big shout out to you. Yes, welcome. Enjoy yourself. That's pretty cool. Cool gap that they got the party bus right out here in front of. Yeah, the party bus. The party bus in front of Fast and Furious. Yeah. We, we rode, uh, we, we told you we rode Big Rocks. We got some frozen butter beer. Yeah, frozen is the only way to go. Yeah, we aren't too keen on the regular butter beer, so we got the frozen. And we're stopping at Louis. Yeah. They got some pizza. Just like I said, we're heading in Louis. Gonna come in here and. Get us some pizza. Um, you want pepperoni? Yeah, two pieces of pepperoni. Two pepperonis. That's it right now. Got our pizza and decided to sit out here and listen to the DJ. And, oh. There's our first stop for food for the night, is Louis. We love this pizza. Now that we're coming back up through the New York area, they finished putting the Orlando Informer out on the marquee. And, yep, this is the park. About 9 p.m. Like, there's literally not really anybody down this street. The Blues Brothers have two shows tonight. And um, I'm not sure whether we'll be over here for one of those. But um, anyway, we're making our way on around. Next stop for a bite to eat, Monsters Cafe. In Monsters Cafe, Tyler got the Invisible Man brisket sandwich. And I got a piece of the roasted chicken and fries. Beetlejuice! 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 <laughs> well, we so, disappeared Beetlejuice. Yeah. We um, just come out of Monsters Cafe. Yep. Roasted chicken. Delicious. Is your brisket, brisket sandwich good? Yeah, it was fun. I don't know how many more places I can eat tonight. Um, that's the thing about it. Know, you fill right? up after two. Yeah. Um, while we were sitting in there, I got word that apparently Earl the Squirrel had been out premiering down here since he's supposed to be at the park tomorrow. Yeah. But I'm sure he's gone now. He's gone. And I won't be lucky enough to see him. We're just trying to decide what we're gonna do next. Earl's not here. He's not here. Look, we did get lucky enough. Here he comes. Earl! Just when we walk down here. Look at him! <laughs> what you doing? 
going to the trees, eating the tree. <laughs> You're full now. <laughs> what a great character. That is great. <laughs> Y'all, I love this character. Love it. Okay, we can call it a night now. Yeah, we can go home. We can go home. We're, I not mean, not home. home. But we can call it a night. Yeah. We're done. We got to see Earl. Oh, Earl. How cool. I mean, seriously. Earl. 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 And Universal. I know you probably won't watch this. and Nobody will watch this because, you know, we're just us. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. I mean, Universal. Y'all hit it out of the park. Yes. With having the Earl character come up. Yes. Um, we were, um... Where were we earlier that we saw a post where he was gonna debut. be here Let's debut be, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow? And I was like, well, now we gotta go stalk a squirrel. Yeah, stalk a squirrel. You know, I stalked the Grinch today. Yeah. Waited in line an hour and a half for the Grinch. Yeah. Of course, I met Earl and didn't even have my Earl the Squirrel shirt on, yeah. which I was planning on wearing tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but we still gotta come stalking because Kathy's gotta get pictures. Yeah, yeah. But, um, awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Universal, you knocked it out of the park with that. Yes. Because everybody's going to love that Earl the Squirrel. Um, the only thing I had put a, a suggestion in, if you would have had the Earl the Squirrel an lanyards yes. to go with those shirts, yes. they would have been purchased as well. We made it over to Islands. We're here in Seuss Landing. Tyler's hearing some of his favorite Christmas music. Yeah. <laughs> and the, Who, the Whoville twist on everything. <laughs> From the Whoville Radio. Um, so, not too busy over here. I'm not sure what we're fixing to go do. What are we? We're Velocity. We're gonna try Hagrid's. Let's try Hagrid's. Before they close. And speaking of being over here at Islands, very, very easy cut through. Yes. So the park hopping is very easy. Yes. Now Hogwarts is running. Yeah. But you're um, better off just to walk between parks. Yeah, but you cut right there by where the blue man group used yeah. to be and i mean you're over in islands oh, yeah. in no time so it's really simple to go back and forth yes tyler said we was going to try hagrid so to see how long the wait is sometimes it, even during the meetup hagrid's can be kind of long not a regular day long, but it'll still be a little long. All right, let's see what Hogsmeade looks like in here compared to a normal day. <laughs> Which, even during the meetup, it's gonna be a little bit crowded back here, but this is nothing. On a normal day, you can't move in here, can you? No. We got our night ride on Hagrid's. Wait was what, Tyler? Probably like 20 minutes? Something Probably. like that? Probably. Look how close we're running the ride. I know. Hold on, they'll come through here in a second. say this is a front row ride huh i mean the back's okay yeah this well the back you're gonna get more of in the lair yeah you know, as far as yeah you know in that part but, but the part where you go up and you drop you don't get that yeah. free fall yeah. sensation right there but um velocicoaster here we come another little peep at 
Hogsmeade all decorated for Christmas and at night. I was just telling Tyler how much I enjoy this part of the park. Another part of the park that I enjoy at night. Don't forget there's projections on the castle as well. Which, they're on there now, but they have an actual projection show. Yes. Right from Hogsmeade into Jurassic Park. We're gonna fix the ride of Velocicoaster. So, I think it said 20 minute wait. Yep. Join the show, which uh, so far is six of you. Yes. Uh, take two large steps forward. Just take a couple steps in. Let's become a family. Right. Shout out pockets. Raise what you got, cause we're looking for topics. Yeah. yeah. Open your gift bags and open your wallet. Do it. Raise what you got, cause we're looking for topics now. Hold them up. Hold them up. Rap, I came to get lit. Hey. Yeah, this lady knows I look fly, but uh, damn, if you're gonna put me online, you need to get my good side. Uh, I keep going till the rhyming is dead, because my flow got like the side of his head, yeah. Uh, and now you see the way that flow talks. I'ma just pitch it down the middle like your mohawk. So, here's what's gonna happen. Yes. Each and every one of these people here is gonna give us a word. Yes. Any word, no matter how challenging it is to rhyme with, yep. we're gonna rhyme with every single one. Even yep. if you've been told that certain words are impossible to rhyme with, we're still gonna do it, because honestly, it is the only thing we're good at. We it's our, it's our only employable skill, it's and true. employable is a stretch. Now, what is your word? Discovery, I love it, right there, perfect. What's your word? Pineapple, very nice, what's your word? Guitar, all right, what's your word, homie? Yorkie Sporky, which dinosaur is that? All right. Now let's have everybody raise these words up high in the air. Let's get into this finale. We got a lot of words to get through. All right, hey, let's get a clap going, get a clap going on beat. Yes, We're the Velociraptors hate off beat. Yes. Finishing with Yorkie Sporky, we got a long way to go. Hey, I'm saying hello. I'm coming with the people's elbow. But when I really fight the rock, now I'm yellow. You know I can flow, Orlando. Informer has a grand show that's playing a piano. Hey, oh, I spit bars, but I never had a sick car. They said I'm about to string them all so low like a guitar. I am in a rhyme battle. Said about the time travel. Backs off top like I'm Snapple when I eat a pineapple. So Lord Whether we'll run into a line up here, but 
right now, there's nobody. And this is about 11.30 almost. We're still walking. I guess we're gonna walk all the way up to the locker with no line. Wanted to do some pest control, but they got a bit out of hand. So we're just currently trying to find them in the bushes, to make sure they're not, you know, running around by things. Like so. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, uh, that's Are they, so mean. they're mean. They're not necessarily mean. They just tend to see stuff they want to eat and go to eat it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, they're, they are this big. They're carnivorous. They usually travel in packs. Uh, if you feed one. The rest of them will want to eat. So you gotta be careful about not dropping any food or anything like that. So better that we pick them up now so you know nobody gets uh no 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 they tomorrow you have to get eight. Yeah right. Yeah. All right. Do not best well, here. Yeah, well, you know, well good luck, you be safe. Yeah, yeah good, I'll do yeah. my best. <laughs> we got some dinosaur hunters out here looking for dinosaurs. Tyler just talked to one. I see one. Yeah. I don't have any problem finding it. Don't forget, at the meetup, the games are free. Of course, you don't win any prizes, but always fun to play. All right, let's see if Tyler can do as good as Chris does. Oh, <laughs> Chris would be disappointed in you. <laughs> Chris has gotten pretty good at this game over at studio side trying to win those Halloween characters. <laughs> Little off. One more shot. That's it. Okay, me and Tyler's gonna race on the dinosaur dash. We like these little water, water racers. All right. All right, let's see what we can do. Tyler beat me. As usual. He got me off the start there. But, again, like I was saying, the games and even the ones over here once. Yeah, and to all the games. Oh, over in, um, I mean, over. I mean, you don't win no prizes, but. Between um, Toon Lagoon area, yeah. um, the like, the prizes aren't available, yeah. but you know, you can play them all you want to. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, we got another dinosaur out. She's sassy. Yeah, oh, she's sassy. She's she, learned that, she learned that from her big sister. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is little right baby Sierra. She's a little six foot old raptor. Oh, hey Sierra. Yeah. Oh, she heard her name. Sierra. <laughs> hey Sierra. Good girl. She's Blue's little sister. So when you get bigger, you're going to be over here in the raptor encounter, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, so we have a, this is a, a new program that we started for the babies because we have two babies right uh -huh. now. We have Sierra and Tango. And if you've ever met Blue or one of our adult I raptors, met Blue. you know that they're, they're very aggressive. Uh -huh. raptor, but I that's, think that's, that's not ideal for what we do at Jurassic World where we let people come up close to our dinosaurs. We don't want them to be that aggressive. So. We're trying something new where we're bringing the babies out from an early age and we're gonna see if by, you know, letting them meet humans from a young age and maybe that will result in them being a little more calm uh, and friendly. Maybe okay. As friendly as a raptor can be <laughs> when she's fully grown. So we're gonna see, right? We're gonna see. It's a work in progress. Everything we do here at Jurassic World is just one big science experiment, so. Awesome. <laughs> So we can't we can't pet Sierra, huh? I would advise against it. She, I know she's very cute, but she has You're cute! She has paws, she knows it too, but she has razor sharp teeth, razor sharp paws. That's why I'm wearing this protective glove for myself Aww. just to make sure. Just to be careful. Well she looks sweet. <laughs> Well, 
I'm sure Kong is walk on, but we're probably gonna keep walking on around. I think we're about done, aren't we? You might do Doctor Dooms. You might do Doctor Dooms. Okay. Other than that, what time is it? It is almost 12. Yeah. 11:51. And it, the uh, meetup's over at 12:30 anyway. Hey, so we're winding down. Tyler's gonna stop and get a churro. They didn't have churros left. They had a hot pretzel though, which part of it's already been eaten. Like really hot. Tyler's eating his. They're a little blurry with the lighting. Stopped here at Ripsaw Falls to eat a bite of our pretzel. Get to swallow a drink. what the crowd looks like so many people ask if this is worth it Tyler and I vote yes yes a definite yes that is definitely worth it I mean the Spider parts Man. like this and yeah it's Spider midnight but -Man got five but it's been oh like I'm this, sure it's walk on it's been like this all night yeah but this is the way it's been and I mean they still got 30 minutes left go ride Dr. Doom's Fear Fall and then I think we're heading back to the resort. We've had a long day. It's midnight and what time did we start this morning? Nine, nine o'clock. I think they're fixing to come out. Does it for our night one? Night Look, one. I got the coaster hair. I got the Velocity coaster hair Dr. and the Haggard's hair, <laughs> Doctor Dooms. But um, that closes out night one. Um, it is. We had some good food. Well, 16. Yep. Yeah. But just remember, I don't know if it'll focus back there, but the adventure lives on. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, actually, a little later today. Yeah. It's 12:15. Yeah. But um, great time here at Orlando Informer Meetup. If you have never done one we highly suggest one we really do um, it's just a great great feel yeah. um, the park's not crowded a lot of people worry about whether they oversold any tickets or whatever but they don't we will see you guys on the next one bye, bye.